guys and welcome back to Reading Club. So today I'm going to start a new book. It's called Daisy and the Trouble with Zeus and I'm going to read you chapter 1 till chapter 2. Chapter 1. The trouble with Zeus is they shouldn't say things they don't mean, especially on seven-year-old's birthdays. If Zeus say things they don't mean on a seven-year-old's birthday, then anything can happen. Which is why what happened today did happen, which isn't my fault. My mom says all the other seven-year-olds in the zoo knew what the zoo meant. Which is a lie. Because Gabby didn't understand what the zoo meant either, and she's been seven for ages. Dylan didn't even know, and he's as old as nine. Gabby and Dylan are my best friends, which is why mom invited them to come to the zoo with me today. Going to the zoo was my special birthday treat. The trouble with special birthday treats is they only happen once a year, which means they can make you a bit excited. My mom says I haven't got a bit excited. I got over, over excited. She says there's a big difference between being a bit excited and being over, over excited. And that if I get over, over excited, like today again, then all my birthdays will be canceled in future, which means I'll be seven forever. Gabby and Dylan say that if my mom cancels all my birthdays, I can share some of theirs. Like for instance, when Gabby has her next birthday, she gets half of it and I get the other half. That means instead of Gabby being eight, she'll only go up a half to seven and a half, but I'll go up a half to seven and a half too. Dylan says that he wants to keep three quarters of his birthday. That means on his next birthday, instead of being 10, he doesn't mind being nine and three quarters instead, which is nearly 10 anyway. Dylan says giving someone a quarter of your birthday is still quite a lot, especially when someone else has already given you one of their halves too. Plus, Dylan says if I can find another person to give me one of their quarters, then I'll be back to normal. Except the trouble with me going back to normal is it won't be right because then I'll be going up in ones, Dylan will be going up in three quarters, and Gabby will be going up in halves which is less than me, which really wouldn't be fair because I was the one that got over, over excited at the zoo, not them. Dylan says to make it fair, Gabby and him would need to find someone else to give them a half and a quarter of their birthday. But that adds up to three quarters of a birthday. Dylan says that the trouble with someone giving away three quarters of their birthday is they'll only be getting a quarter older every year, which really isn't very much at all. Dylan is ever so good at maths. He's going to be a computer when he grows up. Gabby isn't. Gabby hates adding up and taking away. Gabby says sums make her brain shrink. The trouble with your brain shrinking is, in the end, it'll turn into a pea which is the worst thing in the world a brain could turn into. Plus, your head will start to rattle. And you won't be able to tie your shoelaces or do joined up. In the end, we all agreed it would be easier if I didn't ever get over overexcited in zoos again. That way, what happened today will never happen again. Plus, none of my birthdays will ever get cancelled, and we can all grow up in ones on our birthdays instead of halves and quarters. Plus, no one will have to worry about blowing out more than their fair share of candles, or getting too many pink ones. Gabby says, just to make sure I don't get over over excited again, it might be better if <clears throat> I didn't ever go to the zoo again, ever, ever. Gabby said maybe we should just go swimming or something on my next birthday, but I said no way. Swimming pools aren't anywhere near as good as zoos. Even swimming pools with slides and wave machines and hot chocolates. 
And anyway, what happened today wasn't my fault. It was the zoo's fault. Chapter 2. Do you always wake up early on your birthday? I do. Especially when I've got presents to open and a special birthday treat with an extra special secret surprise to find out about too. The trouble with special birthday treats with an extra special secret surprise is they wake you up even earlier than early. I'm not sure exactly what time it was when it woke my mom up in the first time this morning, but by the third time, it was 2.27 a.m. It felt much, much later than that to me. In fact, it felt just like the afternoon at 2.27 this morning to me. And at 2.49, 3.17, 3.25, and 3.33. By 3.34, Mom's voice had gone all growly. I couldn't see her because it was too dark in the bedroom, but I recognized her growly voice. She always does growly voices when she's grumpy. That's the trouble with moms at 3.34 in the morning. They just don't care about other people's birthdays. Mom said she did care about my birthday, but 3.34 wasn't the morning. It was the middle of the night, and I should go back to bed, get under my covers, close my eyes, fall asleep, and come and wake her at 8 o'clock. Or else. I said, or else what? She said, or else I wouldn't get any birthday presents in the morning at all. She said, maybe the clock in her bedroom was wrong. I said, maybe the clock in her bedroom was wrong. She said the clock in her bedroom was never wrong. It was digital. She said digital clocks are never wrong, especially at 3.34 in the morning. She said it was afternoon in Australia. I said it was afternoon in Australia. She said we don't live in Australia. I said I wished we did. She said sometimes she wished I did too. I said, can I open just one of my presents? She said, if I didn't go back to bed right now, I wouldn't get any presents or my special birthday treat or my extra special secret birthday surprise either. So I went back into bed. So I went back to bed. The trouble with going back to bed when you don't want to is your eyelids won't close. Well, they will close, but they won't stay closed. That's because eyelids are one of the most excited bits of your body. I closed mine about a trillion times, but every time I thought of my presents or wondered what my secret birthday special surprise was, they just kept pinging open again. I even tried holding them down with my fingers, but that didn't work either. That's the trouble with holding eyelids down with your fingers. If your eyelids are too excited, you have to let go. The trouble with letting go of your eyelids when they're too excited is your eyeballs start getting excited next then your head, and then your whole body, including your pajamas. If mom had let me open just one of my presents, then I would probably have been all right. I would probably have gone straight back to sleep. My eyeballs wouldn't have got excited, my eyelids wouldn't have kept pinging open, and my whole body wouldn't have been so wiggly. But she didn't, and they did. That's the trouble with not being allowed to open just one present. The only thing you can open is your eyes. I didn't go to sleep at all after that. So that's the end of this channel. I hope you enjoyed my readings of it, and I'll come back later with a new and improved channel. Bye, everybody!